Please welcome His Excellency General the Honourable Sir Peter Cosgrove, AKMC retired, and Lady Cosgrove. Good to have you. On. Well, what a night so far. It's amazing in this beautiful hall to see these wonderful youngsters and you're in for a tremendous night. I'm here to open I'm here to open this wonderful event. I acknowledge the traditional openers of the land, owners of the land in which we meet, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, and pay my respects to their elders past and present, and elders from other communities who may be with us today. And that was a magnificent indigenous performance right at the very uh, start of this evening. Some acknowledgements. Your Excellency General the Honourable David Hurley, Mr Craig Laundy, uh, the Honourable John Ajaka, members of the Diplomatic Corps, uh, the Honourable Sophie Kotsis, the Honourable James Allsop, Chief Justice of the Federal Court. Uh, I notice lots of federal, state and visiting international parliamentarians. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and of course tonight the people who brought us together, Mr Abdullah Aksu, Chairman of Amity College, and Mr Ahmed Pollat, Executive Director of Affinity Intercultural Foundation. And to all of our international visitors who are here, you are most welcome. Lynn and I are most pleased to be with you this evening to open the 14th International Festival of Language and Culture, the second to be held in Australia. This festival carries with it the important messages of peace and friendship. Far too often, we are reminded of the differences between us. And sadly, it is sometimes assumed that these differences are undesirable or something to be feared. But tonight, in a spirit of understanding and acceptance, children from 22 countries, including Australia, are uniting to remind us that when we understand each other, our similarities are many and our differences few. Indeed, tonight the colours of the world will brighten the Sydney Opera House and entertain us with a beautiful, beautiful kaleidoscope of harmony and goodwill. I congratulate all those involved with the International Festival, Festival of Language and Culture and co-hosts Affinity Intercultural Foundation and Amity College for your continuing commitment to strength, strengthening social bonds and promoting social cohesion. I'm so proud that Australia is such a fitting host of this multicultural festival. Other than our precious Indigenous Australians, whose cultural traditions are among some of the oldest on earth, we are a land of migrants. Our modern history can be traced through many waves of immigration. Today, a quarter of all Australians were born elsewhere, but now call Australia home as we heard these, uh, these children beautifully rendered to us a moment or two ago. This multicultural, uh, multiculturalism is a significant and important part of who we all are as Australians. We accept our differences, cultural and religious, and we appreciate and are proud of our diversity. We believe in equality and a fair go for all. We prize, we prize amity as a fundamental tenet of our Australian character. It's in this spirit of camaraderie that I welcome all these young performers to Australia. I say to them, thank you for sharing your cultural identity and heritage with us. I say to them, I encourage you to make the most of this opportunity to learn from each other and to make new friends. I hope that what you display here tonight, your respect for each other and pride in yourself will continue to inspire you long after you return home. It is now my great pleasure to declare the International Festival of Language and Culture, cult, culture Colours of the World, officially open. Let's continue the fun.